Arctic. Ice monster found in Arctic. Well, Elsie, an orphan on the streets of Victorian London, hears about the mysterious ice monster, a woolly mammoth found at the North Pole. She's determined to discover more. Soon Elsie is face to face with the creature and on the adventure of a lifetime. From London, across the high seas to the heart of the North Pole. Heroes come in all different shapes and sizes. This, the biggest and most epic adventure yet. The Adventures of Christopher Robin and His Friends in which someone uses a balloon to get honey, someone meets a heffalump and someone has a birthday. The doorbell rings just as Sophie and her mummy are sitting down for tea. <gasps> Who could it possibly be? What they certainly don't expect to see at the door is a big, furry, stripy tiger. A whole day at Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, Charlie Bucket can't believe his luck when he finds a golden ticket and wins the chance of a lifetime. A magical day witnessing the miraculous creation of the most sensational, scrumptious eatables in the world. Join Charlie in this exciting story, famous throughout the world, and savour such delights as wriggle sweets, fizzy lifting drinks, and eatable marshmallow pillows. We looked, then we saw him, step in on the mat. We looked, then we saw him, the cat in the... Harry Potter thinks he is an ordinary boy until he is rescued by a beetle-eyed giant of a man. in the air. But what does that mean for Greg Heffley? A Valentine's Day dance at Greg's middle school has turned his world upside down. As Greg scrambles to find a date, he's worried he'll be left out in the cold on the big night. His best friend, Rowley, doesn't have any prospects either, but that's a small consolation. Then, an unexpected twist gives Greg a partner for the dance and leaves Rowley the odd man out. But a lot can happen in one night, and in the end, you never know who's going to be lucky in love. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. And it's more than merrier as a helpful dog, bird and frog join the ride. But with the broomstick at breaking point and a hungry dragon looking for a snack, the witch's animal friends had better think fast. The boy's grandma has some pretty odd views. In fact, she's not a very nice person at all. She thinks caterpillars and slugs are delicious. And best of all, she likes to crunch on beetles. The boy can do nothing right in Grandma's eyes. So when it's time for her medicine, he decides to give her a dose of his own special brew. Hello, is the story about me, a grouchy, solitary creature who attempts to put an end to Christmas by stealing the Christmas gifts and decorations from the homes nearby of the town of Whoville on Christmas Eve. 
I realise that Christmas is not all about money and presents. Every night when the world is sleeping, big gruesome giants guzzle up wopsy whiffling human beings and there's only one giant who can stop them. He's the kindest giant there is, and with his friend Sophie in his top pocket, he sets out to rid the world of the blood bottler, the flesh lumper eater, and all their rotten friends forever. Today, the colour monster is all mixed up. He's yellow, blue, green, red, and black. He's all mixed together. Can you help him? <laughs> 